Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at how you can use var and calc in CSS. Now if you don't know what var and calc is, calc basically allows you to do mathematical operations within CSS. Now I wouldn't get too crazy with it, as you know you've probably seen my videos or if you haven't I do use SAS, I do use style components and I like to declare variables, mix-ins, all that good stuff. But recently I've started using the root element in CSS and that allows us to declare somewhat global variables where we can put colors, spacing, box shadow and I like to see it as brandable variables that we can use throughout our application. So I'm going to be showing you how this works. I've got a very basic website here. This is pretty much it, it's just a header section h1, h2, h3 and a footer. Now it's in React, but don't worry too much about that. Um, just imagine this is an index.html file. And we're going to be styling this, and I'm going to be showing you how we can play with variables, declare variables by using the double hyphen. And then we're going to be using these by using the root and the var properties. Now, when we're using custom properties, you'll generally see, let's have a look here. So let's have a look what we got. So folder structure, app, .css it's basically just an index and a .css file. I just use this because it's much easier and I can just use it in the terminal to create me an application and get it running. So the first step with custom properties, we've got to basically define a root. And let me make this bigger. So there we go. And we're going to start styling this. But before we do, there's a few things we want to do. So if I want to declare, say, some basic text, I'll just do double hyphen text and then we can do for a for a for a cool that looks good now what happens if i wanted to do an error well let's put error and we can call these anything we can basically call this anything we want but instead i'm going to put it as error and i'm going to do ff244 now it's very similar in the way you can use sas variables but this is just raw css we're not doing anything apart from using raw css and in the world of JavaScript and all these pre-processors and post-processing, it's nice to sometimes just find your roots. No pun intended here, but <laughs> um, I just want to go back to the root and just have a nice, somewhat light application. Granted, React's running, but just imagine this is in an index.html and a index.css file. So let's just give that a save. What I like about this and why I've got it running here, it, in a create react app is just so I can get hot reloading out of the box which is nice so let's put gray here um yeah, i remember that from my uh, photoshop days let's get this one here c c c c c uh that should be zero so these are just hex numbers and you can find these in an rgb color palette so if you have photoshop or if you have figma or if you have sketch Figma is free, by the way, and it's better than Sketch and Photoshop put together. So go check Figma out. Um, you can get the color codes, which is really nice. Um, I do use Photoshop for this, which is uh, quite nice um, because you can just drag them. And if you've got a fairly good setup, Photoshop, Photoshop can be fairly heavy. But anyhow, let's do a box shadow. And I'm just going to paste this one in from a snippet I have. It's going to give me a box shadow spacing so if you want global spacing so if you're using stuff like uh, let's say you want to get the vertical rhythm and i'll do a video on vertical rhythm and the baseline eventually but it's really hard to get right um so i'm just not going to do it at the minute let's just say spacing reset okay so we have this now we have the root and what's great about the root it's just a pseudo class so it could be applied globally across our HTML document and we can access it from absolutely any, anywhere, which is which is really nice. And if you wanted, you could just do, for example, basic, you could just put that to white. So you can, it's basically a key value store of such where you can access the store, get what you want out of there. So now let's just go ahead and start styling this. As you can see, this is a beautiful looking website on the left. Probably the best one I've ever seen. Um, not that I'm biased, but I do think it's an amazing website. So let's just go ahead, do the usual margin, padding zero, font family. Let's put this to Roberta. 
can I spell that? And it's a sans serif, I believe, yep. Uh, and then I want a color. So how do I access the text up here? Well, very simple. Just type var text. And there we are. We get the text color. And if I was to put this to, let's do pink. There we are, perfect. So you can imagine up here, if you're running say, a small website, a medium website, a large website, and you want to have some consistent brand colors, consistent spacing, consistent fonts, you can just declare them all in the pseudo element of the root. And you can allow everyone to just extend these, well, just use these by using the var keyword. So let's just put a background color. Um, I haven't tried FFF here. Okay, it gives like a, sl a slight hint of gray. Do we have it there? No, we don't. Um, I, I wouldn't put the background color up here because I'm not going to be reusing it. This sort of stuff I imagine is going to be reused throughout the website. So that's why I declare them in the root pseudo element because we want people to reuse them. So for the header, I kind of want a box shadow. So let's see this box shadow. Um, we'll do var box shadow padding var spacing and let's align that center perfect look at that how amazing does that look <laughs> looks pretty good right i mean you just got that out of the box it's not too bad um what's next so what do we have oh we have a main we need to do the main so let's put that down here i, I want to kind of lock the container as well so we just put margin auto Hopefully you understand uh, this concept by now. You can basically just reuse these and you'll see me reusing them throughout. Very similar to SAS. If you like SAS and that's your poison, feel free to stick with it. Um, but it's nice to give, I don't know, the basic stuff. I won't even say it's basic. The original, the core elements of like say CSS here. Um, I guess a go, right? Because everyone just jumps to SAS. And there's some browser issues, I believe, maybe with VAR, but I think they've all been plugged. If you've got a um, post processor, I guess it kind of kills the objective. You could have a fallback in, I guess, to um, allow you to use it, but I think the support's pretty good. Uh, if you go on caniuse.com and type in var um, or calc, you'll be able to see what browsers are supported, which is a really, really good tip. So, margin top. I want a margin top on here of success spacing again. Okay, so we see how we haven't got the the crossover here on the sections because the margin top on the spacing is 10 pixels. So let's just go ahead and inspect that. So we have, oh, it didn't work. Me being silly. Put a var on there. Yeah, it's not enough, unfortunately. So what I want to do is we can use calc here, just do calc. Two, I'm gonna say two times the result of the var spacing, which is 10, so we're gonna get 20. And there we are, we get 20. We can inspect that for a source of truth and we can just double check. Um, also, if you're on a Mac, and I know there's a Windows users watching, but if you click, for example, I'll click off here, Command Shift C, it opens up the dev tools with the cursor selected. So you can immediately jump to what you want to inspect. There you are. So yeah, it's good. I guess one of the downfalls here that it's doing, it doesn't give you, well, it shows the root um, pseudo class, but I'd like to see the calculation in here. Maybe, I don't know if Firefox has got this, but if you hover over it, it'll show me the value. Anyhow, you can, you can wish, I guess, or you can dream. Uh, let's do that. Okay, so we've got a strange, I don't know what color that is light yellow I guess um, let's just change that and we'll do env type so we're going to target the first section we have three sections in there as you can see let's just put that to blue violet and then we'll do color white nice that looks perfect is this not the best looking website you've ever seen come down here and then we get rid of that. Oops, get rid of that. And we'll just do var. Oh, I said there's an error in here. Oops, there's an error. Ooh, okay, so let's do h2h for the three margin. Let's do var spacing. We'll 
put a reset on there, margin top, and we'll just say, and I'll actually let me show you what happens. So you see here, it's fairly close to the top and it doesn't consistently match the bottom. So let's modify the top and we'll say margin top. Uh, actually, we've reset the space in there because we don't want it on the left, the right, or the bottom. So let's just say margin top var spacing. Um, there we go. There we are. We have a nice bit of spacing. And we'll say section H1 color. Let's make this one gray. Gray 10. And that one's changed. So if you don't want to use SAS, you know, this alternative is quite nice. Um, and we'll put that to 20 and the next one to I'll put that to footer. Now just put the footer text the line center. And there you are. Amazing looking website. What can I say? That will be getting super likes on Dribble. It may be on the homepage of Dribble tomorrow. I don't know, potentially. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm just wanted to show you how you can use calc and var. Hopefully everyone is well. I've got a few more videos coming out in hopefully this week and next. There's a few actually lined up. If you're interested in, let's see what we've got in the pipeline. I've got an ESLint and Prettier config coming that you'll be hopefully excited to use. It's very easy. You can just quickly install it into a new application. After that, I have a real-time messaging app. So I'll show you how to implement the root of that and very basic and it works quite well. So yeah. Hopefully it was helpful. Stay well, everyone, and I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.